Well, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, I am going to explain you EGR, that is exhaust gas recirculation. So I'll draw uh, one picture of how it works. I hope you'll understand that. My drawing is not that good, so please bear with me with this drawing. Consider this is an engine. This is your turbocharger and to the there are two parts in turbocharger that is one is turbine one is compressor so compressor part is pushing air from atmosphere and giving inside the inlet manifold and the turbine part <coughs> part is rotating with the force coming from the exhaust gases coming out of exhaust manifold and those exhaust gases are then went to further process this is our air cleaner AC is our air cleaner sorry for the camera <clears throat> So, what exactly EGR does in this case? In normal case, uh, air comes from air cleaner, filter, filters here, comes inside the compressor of turbine, uh, turbocharger, and then goes to engine. Although there are further processes are there for cooling of charged air cooler, but the uh, to uh, simplify this drawing, I'm not, I haven't shown that to you here. Then these exhaust gases comes out of the engine, go, rotates the turbine of the turbocharger, and then goes out. And now here comes the EGR in the picture. EGR, exhaust gas recirculation. What is it is doing is it's taking some amount of exhaust gases, cooling it in the EGR cooler, and then again passing it to the inlet manifold through air cleaner passage pipe. So why we are doing it? This is the outline how it looks EGR, how it works, how it takes air how it takes exhaust gases, how it uh, inserts its gases in air cleaners, clean air. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why we do that. <clears throat> the purpose of the EGR is to reduce the nitrox production inside the combustion chamber. Now why does the nitrox produces in an engine so the reason is there is a nitrogen present in the air inside the combustion chamber but as the combustion takes place temperature starts rising at a particular temperature which is about 1200 degrees celsius if the temperature goes about this the nitrogen present in the combustion chamber oxidizes and create nitrox and that is harmful gas and we need to reduce that uh, production of that gas because our new norm according to the, our new norms the nitrox limit has been reduced to previous emission to emission rule so in every step we are reducing step by step and like in tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 so the nitrox limit here was this much and this much in third this much and in fourth very negligible <coughs> so the, the as our 
as our emission standards increasing, our uh, efficiency of not producing NOx is should be increased so as to meet the requirement of the emission system, emission control. Now the next thing is uh, uh, what what will happen if we reduce the temperature? Obviously, if we reduce the temperature, the production of NOx will reduce. But how will we do that? Same thing which we have done in here. What we have done is we have spent some exhaust gases here, which are going and mixing with the fresh air and going again in, inside the engine here. So what is happening exactly there? Sorry for the voice. And uh, the reason why we have done that like that is, uh, as you might know, that turbocharger is used to increase the efficiency of the combustion. Because what turbocharger is does is, it pushes more amount of air than the normal, so as to complete the combustion inside the combustion chamber. If the amount of oxygen present inside the combustion chamber is less, the combustion will not be efficient or complete. So when we sent uh, exhaust already burned gases in means exhaust gases, those exhaust gases mixes with the fresh air and reduces the amount of oxygen present inside the combustion chamber and they don't take place they don't take part in com combustion of uh, fuel inside the combustion chamber instead they they absorb the heat from that combustion of fuel and uh, reduces the temperature of the combustion chamber and through that this stops or reduces the production of uh, the nitrox but the problem is here with the uh, EGR is as your combustion temperature reduces the efficiency also goes down because as your temperature goes down your efficiency will lower because all the <coughs> fuel will not burn and there will be unburned particles remain inside the combustion chamber so those unburned gases gets out from the combustion chamber and those are called as soot the black smoke you might have seen coming out of silencer or muffler of an engine or a truck or a car. So there is a limit to that also. So to control that, we need to add DPF in this uh, exhaust system, which we will I'll add like this. It is totally. It is consists of. DOC and DPF. Here DOC is called as diesel oxidation catalyst and this is diesel particulate filter. <coughs> so what happens? Exhaust gas goes through this DOC and then passes through DPF diesel particulate filter <coughs> so what happening here is the exhaust gases are passing through the UC which contains carbon monoxide hydroxide uh, sorry hydrocarbons which are harmful for a environment so what DOC does is it reacts with them and uh, produce the output of CO2 and H2O. This is the output of the DOC. And these gases again passes 
through the DPF. In DPF, there are very small pass, passing passenger there, which do, does not allow uh, diesel particulate to pass through. Diesel particulate is unburned gases. In actually, they are unburned gases. So they stuck there, and the, only the gases are allowed to pass through DPF. But as the time goes on the amount of dp increases which blocks the uh, passage of uh, gas exhaust gases and creates a back pressure to the uh, turbocharger and to the engine exhaust manifold and that triggers the regeneration mode what happens in regeneration mode is these unburned gas unburned diesel particulate matter dpm you can say diesel particulate matter Th that diesel particulate matter needs to be burned as those are unburned gas unburned particles we need to burn them so that it can uh, uh, clear the way it for exhaust gases so how we do that is uh, exhaust gases passes through here and here and like this so we we put directly here somewhere inside uh, um, some amount of uh, fuel direct fuel we put in and that fuel burns inside that diesel particulate filter and raises the temperature to 600 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the unburned diesel particulate matter will burn, and it will it will become ash, and it will pass through that pores and clears the way for exhaust gases. So that was all about EGR. And if you want to know about any other uh, <coughs> system related to engine please uh, please comment in below and how was the this video mm, i tell that also thank you very much